these, yeah? Oh, and the other thing we want to do is we want to put... Okay. It's a Christmas market and I've been selling bird feeders really well. And I took about 30 of these and I've sold out of them. I call them, or we call them, the Curly Q bird feeder. And that's the finished version there. Um, somebody said to me, a customer, can I have one of your pumpkin bird feeders? Well, I didn't consider it a pumpkin at all, but it gave me the idea to actually make some pumpkin bird feeders. They're quite difficult to throw because you've got to close them off. And uh, Whereas these are a, an open base and then you make that bit to go on top of it afterwards. So I'm going to just show you how I throw them. They're quite difficult because it's a hard shape to make closed off. Split in it, and when it splits, it lets water in. I mean, you can never center it again, but it's okay. Professional at work. <laughs> right. Okay, there we go. Centered. When you make a very bulbous shape, you go tall and narrow with a cylinder, and then what I do is I go out from the bottom. You've got to make it as narrow as you can at the top. Go out at the bottom, bring it right out as much as you dare, and about halfway up, just stop. And this clay is quite soft, so it does give easily and collapse. So you do have to be a bit careful with it. Come out a little bit more down the bottom with a sponge on a stick just to dry it out, and then the next stage, just you go as fast as you can on the wheel to close it off like that without it going wonky. Very, very difficult shape to produce. A lot of potters don't particularly like making this shape, it takes time, and it's quite easy for it to go wrong. Right, so I've seen a very good potter from America, Stephen Showalter, on uh, TikTok I think he was on doing this, or maybe Instagram, making pumpkins. And he's a he's a good thrower. Big up to Stephen Showalter I say. Right, so that's your closed off bit. I'm just sponging it a little bit and I'm just ever so slightly shaping it with a sponge if there's a lump anywhere. There we go. And then next job, I've got a little trimming tool. I'm just going to go in at the bottom here just to shape the base so it's nice and round. And this, you could make this into a vase just by not closing it off, but obviously for this job I want the pumpkin. Sorry about the noise, it goes with the territory. Right, now what I do, using my thumbnails, I just pull up on that to make little grooves, which to make it look a little like a stalk. One more there. Okay, then the next job, I've just used, it's a piece of old window board, it's one of my favourite tools for doing this. Um, I support it on the other side cut it into thirds using that it's maybe not the best tool for it but it seems to work and you do have to support it because it goes out of shape on the other side and then the last thing what I do is put a little twist in the top and then push it down 
and you can let it go squat it doesn't really matter what happens after that probably not the best one but if you have a look at some of those they're better but I was being videoed at the time and one of the hard things to do with it is to pick it up in order to do that I don't throw on bats I can't be bothered so in order to do that I will just put this on the bat pick it up from the bottom don't squeeze the sides too much and there you go and I'll distort that a little bit more to make it look more like these ones here um, when it's a little bit drier 